the Caribbean off the coast of Cuba. It is known for its clear waters and beautiful beaches. Jamaica has a longer history, so we'll only be hitting the highlights. Let the fun begin. Standing in the very jungle that the Arawak Indians lived in when they came to the island 2,500 years ago. They stayed and named the island Zemako, which means land of wood and water. It was very wooded back then and surrounded by water. As you can see, it is still wooded a little bit. They grew cassava, sweet potato, maize, fruits and veggies, cotton, and tobacco. The Arawaks lived peaceful lives until the Spaniards destroyed them sometimes after 1964. In 1665, Admiral William Penn took the island for Britain and made it an official colony. Two centuries, a plantation economy was based on sugar, cocoa, and coffee. Sugar crops grew so popular that the 57 that were originally made in 1663 became almost 430 by 1739. Since there were no more airwalks in Jamaica, Spaniards brought over Africans as slaves. Slaves back then were not uncommon in Jamaica. Since there were so many sugar plantations, the slaves were needed. Many slaves disliked the treatment and position they had, so they ran away to the mountains. The many slave rebellions that Jamaica had eventually led to the destruction of the slave trade in slaves. The other part in the abolition was that the Quakers protested. They formed a committee with people like Granville Sharp, James Ramsey, Thomas Clarkson, and later on, Williams Wilberforce. On January 1st, 1808, the abolition bill was passed. Slavery was considered utterly abolished, unlawful, and prohibited. Education, health, and social security were better. An island-wide savings back system was put together. Roads, bridges, and railroads were put up. And the cable communication with Europe was put up in 1859. The Jamaican's capital was moved from Spanish town to Kingston. Fast forward a couple years and the Jamaican constitution was signed in 1862 guaranteeing freedom to every Jamaican citizen after 300 years of British rule. Jamaicans are casual, open, and friendly. They are well known for their humor. Women are highly respected and men are the head of the family. Men and women usually start living together in early age, but when they don't have kids early, it's considered unusual. Clothes are cool and comfortable. Rastafarians have made red, yellow, and green the national colors. They're the Ethiopian flag. People who go to church on Sundays, they dress formally on Sundays. Water sports and cricket are really big. Jamaicans are known for their laid-back attitude and their passion about enjoying life. They really don't watch TV, seeing as there are only two stations on island. And their entertainment includes going to the beach, hanging out with friends, and listening to music. There are plenty of famous Jamaicans. Here are a few. Bob Marley, he's a musician. Kirk Foster, He's a film director and a production screenwriter. Usain Bolt, he's an Olympic runner. And es Esther Anderson, she's a photographer, actress and filmmaker. And Bernadette Todd, she's a missionary. They celebrate independence on August 6th. For several weeks before, they have a celebration called Festival. During festival, musicians perform mostly as a competition. Drum canoe is a dancing held near Christmas time. People dance to drums and cane flutes. Other holidays include Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, Easter Monday, and Christmas. Hey guys, I'm in front of a Rastafanarism temple. Speaking of religion, over 80% of Jamaicans practice Christianity. Others practice Angelicism, Protestantism, in Roman Catholicism, Jewish, Hindu, and Baha'ism. 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 They also practice Rastafanaris. Rastafanarism is the belief that the one true God is the late Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie, also known as. Rastafari. They place a great emphasis on meditation and spirituality. They also use ganja in their practices, which is marijuana. Rastafarians are known for their beards and their dreads, which symbol a pact with God. They also carry around Bibles. But one famous Rastafarian is Bob Marley. 
Jamaicans love spicy food. All spice is native to Jamaica and is an import and export crop. Other spices used are ginger, nutmeg, and pepper. Bami is a toasted bread-like wafer made from cassava. Aki is a national fruit and can be poisonous if not cooked right. There are three regions in Jamaica. The first is the Eastern Highlands. They cover about 20% of the island and several cities are above 5,000 feet. It mainly has the Blue Mountain Range. In it, the highest peak is the Blue Mountain Peak, which is 7,402 feet tall. In the east are the John Crow Mountains. In the southeast are the Port Royal Mountains. All the mountains run east to west. The second region in, is the Central Plateaus. Limestone, which Jamaica is mostly made out of, is washed away by rain. The product of this is called carcinery, named after former Yugoslavia, where erosion was studied intensely. It has small rutted hills and large hollows called cockpits. The rivers are fascinating there. Hector's River, for example, starts in Central Plateau and goes west for about 12 miles, then disappears, only to reappear again in the south as the One Eye River, then to disappear again and reappear again in the west as the Black River. The coastal plains are the third region. They're narrow in the north and wider in the south. The widest lowland part reaches west from the Laguana Plain around Kingston to the middle of the southern part of Jamaica. The river basins in the central plateaus also provide valuable agricultural land such as the Queen of Spain's Valley, Nassau Valley, and St. Thomas's in the Vale. In the African tongue, when Jamaicans couldn't pronounce a sound, they substituted it for their own sound, such as the TH sound is now a D sound, such as the is duh, then is den, and that is dat. The vocab is like they were living in Shakespeare time, or they were living biblical. When an insect bites, they say they bite it like a serpent, or whenever a decision was made, they say it was a righteous one, if it was a good one. Jamaicans are educated with standard English and the paper uses it too, but when talking casually they use Jamaican English. Jamaican English is very different from standard English. The cook told me famine, but it was not so means the cook told me I was pretending, but it wasn't so. Famine, the main verb, verb in the sentence, means to pretend in Jamaican English. The grammar is also very different from, from ours. Instead of my book is lost or I'm happy, they would say me book lost or me happy. Instead of his or he, they use him, such as I kick him, or I kick him ball, or him went home. 